Hi folks, today I want to show you how to resize templates without distorting your composition. I'll take you through a quick and easy two-step process to resize your template um, to avoid distortion and maintain your layers. So let's get started. The first step is to come up under image, image size. Um, really important part here, you want to make sure that this link to constrain your proportions is on. That means that when we change the height, the width will change proportionally. So in this particular example, we're going to size this 8 by 10 down to a 5 by 7. So that means the 10 will become a 7. <clears throat> and you can see that the width does not reduce down proportionally. We've got 0.6 inches here. If it does, if your um, composition does reduce down proportionally, you can stop right here. You're all set. So let's go ahead and let that reduce down. And the next step in the process is to come um, and change your, in, your canvas size. So we'll come back under image, canvas size. Here's our 0.6 inches. This is where we change it to a 5. And we'll hit OK. Now it's going to let us know that some clipping will occur. And that's OK, because all of our layers over here are still going to be intact. Okay, so you can see how it did change the size of your composition. If we actually come up under image size, you'll see that it's now a 5 by 7, and it will print as a 5 by 7. And just to show you, um, if you wanted to go and move around some of your layers, you'll see they're, they're all still there. You can actually um, move and you know change anything that you'd like at this point. Um, a word of caution on text layers. If you are going from a very large composition, say a 16 by 20, um, down to a 5 by 7, you're going to want to make sure that those text layers are readable. Um, and what I would suggest is printing a sample on your own just to be certain that the text is actually readable. And that's basically it. Just two steps to resize your templates. Mm -hmm.